to talk about line brushing because I've had a lot of people ask me about that. And basically what line brushing means is that you're going to brush your dog in sections. So where the term line brushing comes from is, you know, people will draw a line and then they brush. And then they make another line with their brush and they go to the next section. So, and you can do it this way or you can do it that way. A lot of people will do it this way. So you're essentially making, it doesn't have to be a perfect line to be line brushing, okay? It helps, but it doesn't have to be. You're basically brushing your dog in sections. So you've now made this line and now you're gonna come along and make another line. Now, some people, they get really fussy about it and they do draw lines. I particularly don't feel like that's necessary, but if it helps you when you're getting started, you can draw lines. And you brush and comb. And then you draw another line. brush and comb every single section of the dog all the way around so whatever direction you decide is best for you whether you have a poodle and show coat or a drop coat like cocker spaniel or shih tzu or whatever um, generally once you kind of get used to the idea in your brain of what line brushing is it's just sectioning off coat and brushing and combing it doesn't have to be a perfect line because your your comb goes all the way through all of the hair like that so it doesn't have to be an exact line um, for me I like to go down the side of the dog with the drop coats because I don't want it pushing on this flat work at the top. I want that stuff to stay laying down. I've already blanketed her and dried her with the blanket on so it's laying nice and flat, but I don't want to manipulate, see that hair right there? I don't want to manipulate that hair to go that direction. So with this particular breed, I have a tendency to go down the side of the dog in sections like so. And I'll do it like this after I've done it with my pin brush and see, then you can find a little knot. You find your little knot. Just spray it and move on to the next section. And you can do that all the way down or all the way up, whichever works, whatever breed you have and whatever works for you. But basically, it's, it's a line brushing teaches you to get every little part of the dog instead of just going like this and going, oh, it's brushed or it's combed because it's not. You can see how the comb sticks. It's not all completely brushed out until you've gone through it, like up here, all the way through. My comb gets all the way through to the bottom of them, every single hair. So line brushing teaches you to section off different areas, and that's essentially all line brushing is. You just have to figure out which, which direction works best for you and which sectioning off method works the best for you. And you can brush one side and then the other and then move on to your next section. Does that make sense? As a lay person, does that make sense to you, Larry? Okay. And then I move on to the next section. And I brush it this way, and I brush it this way. And then I pull all this up, 
And you see, I found that little spot down there. I heard, just heard, I heard the mat. You can hear mats. See, there's a little knot right there. When your brush makes that noise, there's a knot. section off the leg this way this way and then you move to the next section You will lose little amounts of hair as you go because you just you can't help but break the hair to a certain extent but you're just trying to minimize it as much as possible just use really good products make sure you're soaking that hair follicle as much as possible with conditioner And I'm actually brushing my hand in her hair and not pulling on her skin. This is also a maintenance bath, so I'm not worried about getting the hair perfectly straight when I dry it. I'm worried about making sure that she's conditioned and combed so we get as little matting as possible. sectioning off the whole foot as I go. This spot and then this spot and then that spot. All the way around the foot. And you'll feel a little resistance when you comb, but it shouldn't be, you shouldn't feel the need to yank. If you feel the need to yank, then there's a tangle or a knot. And it's, we've had the weather change here too, and I think that might be part of it because the grass has been wet and she's been getting out there and getting wet because I don't have a kennel run for her. She's a borrowed dog. So I put her in the pen to go potty and then I let her out to run around and get exercise and she's been getting wet in the dew in the morning. 
So I think that's part of what's been going on. Just gonna have to bathe her and comb her more often. Aren't you thrilled? Aren't you happy about that? <laughs>